So the purpose of this class is not to become a ninja with technology and to be master of the lesson plan. Uh, again, it is an introductory class. Uh, what we're really looking for you to do is to really think carefully about what are you going to do if you were dropped in tomorrow into a classroom and you've got 30 little bodies sitting there, what are we doing today that you don't feel like you're freaking out and have no clue. Um, some of you are going to leave my class and you're going to be doing student teaching. So that's exactly what's going to happen to you. You're going to be put in front of a bunch of kids and like go and you should have some plans and some strategies and some things you've thought about and whatever you're doing, you're doing it on purpose and not because well, that's how my teachers did it. Um, really examining is this what's appropriate for what I'm trying to do? Uh, does this teach the common core? Is this what levels of Bloom's taxonomy? What depth of knowledge is this? Um, that you're ready for that. And, don't, I'm sorry. You probably won't ever be ready. Your first few years will be uh, very stressful, uh, as it is for everyone. But, we, you know, we want to give you your best chance. So the purpose of this class really is to give you that opportunity to look at all of these t ideas of teaching and all these ways of using technology and for you to think specifically how you're going to use it. And so what's really, really important to us is reflection. And we just think you cannot reflect too much. We just want to see you doing specific planning for your classroom. So when we talk about a reflection, it should not say, oh, spreadsheets are cool, I'm going to use them. My students will learn a lot from that. I mean, that, that doesn't say very much. It's very vague words. Um, I should also not say, today we use GarageBand, and GarageBand lets me make music. Again, that's, that doesn't plan for your future classroom. It, it's not reflecting on your learning process. And maybe what you're reflecting on is that you wouldn't use it. Uh, you know, today we use GarageBand, and this is a tool that that makes musical sounds, but I'm going to be blah, 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 and I think that that just doesn't have application, and here is why. You need to back that up. You are a college student. We expect college-level work. We do not want the work of ninth graders or high school students. So if you're being very vague in your statements and you're not being purposeful with what you can do with the information and the things that we have you working on, um, it's not going to count. And so when we talk about 300 words, it's actually really easy to do 300 words and nearly impossible not to if you're doing deep and meaningful reflection. If you are not doing deep and meaningful reflection, you're going to be like, I don't need 300 words. It's, you know, that's, that's so much. You can't plan, properly plan something in only a few seconds. You need to have details specific ideas. I want you to be thinking to yourself, when you are planning your lessons uh, in your own classroom someday, you should be thinking, how is Susie going to respond to this lesson? How is Juan going to apply to this? I know that Bob has some difficulty uh, with this, so how am I going to adapt my lesson to make sure that Bob's learning the learning objectives? Like, you know, I, you should always be planning specific. Uh, how don't say I'm going to use spreadsheets. How are you going to use spreadsheets? What specifically are you going to use them for? For what lesson? For what purpose? For what classroom management? How are you going to use it? Why are you going to use it? Why? 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 Why is this better? Why is this my decision? Why am I going to or not going to? And you back it up. That is really important. You cannot reflect too much. This is about you planning out what kind of teacher you're going to be. So we're going to be looking for that all over the place. Every page on your digital portfolio needs to have a 300 word reflection. The only exceptions would be, um, for example, when you're writing up the Tucker book, the Tucker book quest is only reflection. You read a book, read the chapter, plural, and then you reflect on it. That's the whole assignment. You don't need a reflection on the reflection. Um, and there's a couple of things in there that, you know, which we're reasonable people. We, we're not, we do not want to create busy work, um, but really every page itself should have a reflection of you planning out how this impacts your teaching and more importantly how it impacts your students. Like why is that going to be meaningful for your students and why are you making those decisions? Um, so again, not every quest, just every page. So this is where it comes into your advantage to do quest smashing. 
saying, I'm going to do five quests on one page and one activity, rather, um, combine them together so that I only have to do one reflection. So uh, hopefully that you will take advantage of that. You can look at some uh, previous students' digital portfolios and they uh, did a separate page for every single quest and you do not have to do that. Uh, so please don't feel that that is, that is what we're looking for. We, um, I really appreciate someone who's very clever and can figure out how to combine things together because really that's part of what our profession does is we need to constantly be combining different methods and pedagogy with technology and all that kind of stuff.